Oh my god, it never ends! Holy crap! <laughs> what are you For the love of God, do the right thing. Okay, so Brittany's back at the camper editing the videos from the past couple days. We're walking around the vendor show area where we have everybody trying to, you know, just see what's around and say hi to people. Well, we came by the Factor 55 as we walked by him, and Justin over here screams at me. And we're gonna go find out why the hell he was screaming at me. Yeah, life right, get over yeah, here. Yeah, what were you Come yelling here. at Come me? back here. <laughs> why are you yelling at me, dude? I'm gonna tell you why I'm yelling at you. You post a video of him using a toe strap, yanking your buddy out like it's a kinetic rope. Come here, get over here. He's over here, he's like, hey, you idiot. I'm like, what, what did I do? What you do is you didn't use this thing. <laughs> oh my god, it never ends! Holy crap! <laughs> what are you doing? For the love of God, do the right thing. Okay, so what did I do wrong, first off? Well, first off, a couple of things. One thing is, you need to use a solid kinetic energy rope. Okay. This is going to make your life a whole hell of a lot easier, especially for your snow recoveries. <laughs> so you mean when my buddy's Land Cruiser is buried in four foot of ice, I don't just take a toe strap and hit 30 miles an hour? and hope it what do you think <laughs> okay y'all saw the video nope it was a terrible idea we didn't have anything we haven't had anything so he just pulls out what is this <laughs> so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get you guys set up to make sure that you're actually gonna be safe out on the trail okay for real this time for real this is our 7 8 by 30 foot kinetic energy rope it's got 30 percent stretch that means this thing will stretch up to nine feet. It's like a giant rubber band. So this way, when you go to tug somebody out, that they'll actually come out and not put any more stress on either of the vehicles that you're trying to tug on. <laughs> Especially your brand new JL, my man. But you know we're on the road all the time. Yes, sir. You know we're packed, like top to bottom, left to right, all the way full. So I set aside specifically for you guys something that's brand new. So what we have right here for you is a brand new, we just got these in. So these are actually made in Boise, Idaho. So they're all USA made, right where we're from. So even down to the simple thing, like our strap wraps are all made right here in America. So we've got our brand new Factor 55 strap wraps, right? You're kind of like, whatever, it's a strap wrap. Who cares? I'll go to Home Depot to get those. Like, you know what I mean? I bought those too. But this has got this extra piece of Velcro right here. And so the advantage is with doing this is now when you run this through, you can double this all the way back over and still have Velcro. So it can go around something as wide as your rope or as small as your roll cage. So you can use it for a ton of different things. So in order to keep your rope organized, we're gonna give you a couple of these things so you can keep everything contained that's in there. Okay. Well, plus we have more in the box. Oh, you have- But <laughs> wait, there's, there's more. <laughs> so I need more than a kinetic rope. You need way more than a kinetic rope, my man. Okay. When you yank that car out poorly, how did you have it hooked up to the back of your Jeep? Uh, I think I had it's funny that you actually have this here. This is not staged. I don't care what you guys say or think. <laughs> so I had one of these guys. I looked through a soft shackle I got off of eBay for like 15 bucks that I think now looks like this. <laughs> so here you go. You got your strap wraps right around your rope. You can tuck that away nice and easy in the back of the vehicle. And down in the box. And down in the box. We also have a eight foot tree saver. Okay. So we're gonna give you the eight foot tree saver. So we just got a brand new supplier of an industrial marine rigging company out of Texas that's providing all of our straps and making our straps now. So now every single strap that we have is two ply. It's got outer cordura sleeves and it shows you all the proper labeling for everything that you need to know for your strengths, for your straight pull, your choke pull, or your basket pull. So that way, it's totally clear and easy to read. That's Kevin so, proof. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's got pictures. It's got pictures, <laughs> it's got pictures Kevin. <laughs> so what I got for you guys. Ding, 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 ding. So when you're doing rear recoveries, now you can take this. This is our Hitchlink 2.0. Ooh, it's red. Oh. This is one of our first products that we ever made. And this just simply slides right into the hitch receivers and it can be used with a three quarter screw pin shackle, right? It can be used with a screw pin shackle or it can be used with any type of soft shackle. The reason is because we machine a radius on the pin attachment holes to put the least amount of stress on the rope fibers. Oh, these are all so smooth. Cut. Oh, there's exactly. no sharp angle. Exactly. Wow. So now think about this. Now, you've seen these before where they're like, they're made of steel, right. they're very heavy. Right. Here, go ahead, hold that. Oh. That weighs less than three pounds. 
So even when you don't want it in the Jeep, you can keep that in your recovery bag and yeah, not no, make that any heavier. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm, you're making me become an adult. You keep fighting it. <laughs> now, a lot of you guys might be familiar with certain types of soft shackles. There's many that are out in the market. Most of them are really easy to use. They're great. A lot of them just have kind of exposed Dyneema, like the exposed Dyneema fibers that they're made of. This one is actually plasma coated, but we took that one step further. And you get winner, winner, winner. <laughs> you get one of each size. In fact, out here on the lake bed, we brought our 10 inch, our new 10 inch soft shackle and our 20. We actually sold out of the 10 inches already. It's only Tuesday. We still got till Friday to go. So not only will this work for many different applications for your guys' flat link E on the front of your vehicle, but as well as the hitch link on the rear, it'll simply just slide right through the opening here and then becomes your easy rear tow point. So oh, now... So I don't need a second point of failure. So I don't need this guy. You don't need that guy. You can just use this soft shackle straight to your hitch link, right to your kinetic rope, kinetic rope to another soft shackle to whatever other vehicle you're trying to recover. That easy. All lightweight, all super strong. So our soft shackle now, this breaks at 43,000 pounds. You can check out the Factor 55 YouTube page and see how we destructively test every single part that we manufacture so we know this failure ratings so you can be as safe as possible. You got it right here? Right there. 42,920 pounds. I think that's a few Jeeps. Yeah. That's one or two. <laughs> that's one or two Jeeps. So one of the neat advantages is because of this outer woven sheath, right? When you're out in Colorado, you got snow, you got all these things that are happening out there. This outer woven sheath will keep the soft shackle from swelling. So it's going to keep it more rigid and it's gonna keep it lasting a lot longer. The other thing with soft shackles is, is that once you have the ball through here, what can happen is, is that the noose end can really get tight around the knot. And so getting them undone can be quite a problem, oh, yeah. especially once you put them under load. So because of how rigid each sides of these are, you can simply grab onto this and push them together to pop this loose, to open that up, to get the ball to come out. It makes it super easy, very safe to yeah, yeah, the stuff that I've seen isn't like that. Oh yeah, the That's, one I have, I, I can't get it apart half the time. So like this one doesn't have that. So once that chokes down on that. It's very it's, difficult it's very to get it. Okay. You can get you know in the habit of grabbing onto the ends and really twisting and get, you know, you may, but it's, a, it's something you want to practice, but it's not necessary with ours. Now the other thing that we got you, besides the 10, because we don't want to leave you stranded with just one, we're also going to get you one of our 20 inches. So the same kind of thing here. It's the same soft shackle, only this one is 20 inches. So now, let's say you got to jack up the side of the Jeep. You can put this through the wheel and use your high lift. You can put this through the frame and grab onto another vehicle. Around the roll cage, you can double it up and do whatever. So with the braking strength of over 40,000 pounds in a single pull, the other thing is with your flat link E, you can actually double this through it. And if you double the soft shackle, through there, this thing broke at 84,000 pounds. Now, there's also been some controversy as where to use the soft shackle. Okay. You probably that see I this. saw. Okay, so you probably saw. see this. Okay? I've had some rescue recovery people like trying to. You need to have it here. It has to pull this way. But I saw your guys' video. That's right. So, a lot of guys have said that you want to have the knot up against the rigging. Now, the idea behind that is that if there is slack, that there's the potential that the knot could slide out the opening. Yeah. So, well, we pull tested them apart with it up against the rigging, whether this was the pull E to the puller, right, to the did anchor it, to the load. We did it in the middle. We did it in the middle. We did it on the other end. Upside down, left side, right side. We go with the results were, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's within, within 5% braking strength of each other. And when you're dealing with 40,000 pounds, it's not going to make any difference of where you put the knot in the line. I say a good general basis is to leave it to where the knot is facing up. So whether you decide to put it against the rigging or whether you decide to run it in the middle, just make sure it's above and not facing towards the ground. Because that way, if it's on the ground, you know what I mean, it's more likely to drag on rocks in it. Well, as we get to Easter Jeep Safari, you know what I mean? We're gonna be going yeah. up and down ledges and waterfalls to do these things. So you wanna keep this away from rocks as much. It's still rope, right? Still, this is still fairly ab ab abrasion resistant too. Big like, time. This is, so this if you get, if you're out in Moab or somewhere or Sand Hollow and it kind of rubs against some of the rocks. It's not gonna kill you're, it. You're Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, okay. you can do much more with this uh, than ever right. before. So beyond those, right? So now you get your hitch link. You got the solid tree saver. You got your hitch link. Sorry, we're actually like here at Tech. Like everybody. <laughs> well, we yeah, we sponsor Tech. So we actually are. Oh, you sponsor Tech. We sponsor Tech. Yeah. So the Tech Tent is 
is brought to you thinking they have oh, a spice pack of Vicky Five. Your safety, your safety recovery equipment. Kind of goes hand uh, in hand, right? Uh, <laughs> and last but not least. Oh! <laughs> he's going into the bag of goodies. We wanted to get you guys, in case this ever happens, you ever have a failure out on the trail. Oh, we I saw to, this at SEMA, you showed us this at SEMA. We wanted to get you guys one of our fast fits. Yes. So our fast fit is our synthetic rope splicing tool. So if you ever break your winch line on the trail, this is gonna be the thing that's gonna So happen. we're still new to all this trail stuff and all this repair. We showed this at SEMA. We you did a whole demo on it, so you can go watch that. Well, I can show you again real quick if you wanna see it. Real time here. All right, hold on. Basket thingy. That's right. The you pin just, thingy. Yeah, <laughs> you just take the fid needle to the end of the oh, wire okay. basket. The fid needle to the wire Terminology. basket. Terminology. All right. <laughs> Once you find the end of your broken winch line. I like how all this matches our Jeep. Is that, is that, was that for a little, well, you is know this what? the light I mean, bright? I was just really thinking about you. <laughs> I was just really thinking about you. You simply just take this, and if you remember, you just put this right into the wire basket, you pinch right down onto there. Yep. So this is your break your winch line. Break your winch crack. line. What do I do? What do I do? You just measure your berry length. You simply push this together. Slide this thing right through there, and boom, you're already on your way to making the island. Then you can weave it back and forth a few times to like lock that in. You can taper the line at the end. You can do a lock stitch. You can do all kinds of different things. It goes right down the middle section. You simply work the fid needle down the end of the rope to where it'll come out the side. You'll see that the fid needle has now worked its way through the end of the winch line. And you simply just move that right through there. Pull the end of it off. You can taper the line at this point, grab the end of the eyelet, pull it down, and boom, you're done. That simple. And, and you prepared your winch line. line. That easy. So, that was super fast. We'll That's get ridiculous. you guys all set up for all of those things, and then we're also gonna give you this. This is our basic guide uh -oh. to winching. You're gonna have to read, okay? Oh You're gonna have to read. Hold on. This is light bright proof, this is Kevin proof. There's gonna be freaking pictures in here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like this should be a fire or something. I, I swear to God, none of this is staged. This, <laughs> the, I swear. This is all the first time we're seeing this. I, should, I feel like sitting by a fire. I should have a, I mean, yeah. a, a corn a little pipe. So inside of here, you're going to find tons of information. It's a 40-page booklet that we have here. It's available on our site. It soon will be available for a PDF download as well. Inside here, we're going to cover all kinds of things about winch terminology, what everything's about. Go through here. We're going to talk about the different things of our shackle mount products. Pictures. Right? Soft shackles, hard shackles. Right? It's going to talk about all about closed system winching, and then even in the back, it's going to give you pages of winching scenarios. So oh, you can learn okay, about that. all kinds of different techniques right, and stuff that. in here. And snatch block, snatch yeah. block all that recovery stuff. and all that. In the back here, we'll go through the whole stop of the stuck think, observe, plan, and act, the stuck assessment plan in the back, and recovery checklist. So this is going to be valuable information. So for the love of God, dude, please read. <laughs> I'll make you coffee and I'll read it to you, okay? <laughs> I hope you guys are laughing because you all know how terrible I am at this. <laughs> we just want to make you better and everybody be better and safer to be on the trail. No, it is. This is and that's great information. We... Well, that's the same thing with any of our products, right? We've been out here on the lake bed for seven years, so it's been tested all the way from the King of the Hammers for the military, for law enforcement, fire departments, all the way down to just regular trail rigs and wheelers. Dude, I... I can't thank you enough. Yeah, man. Thank you, guys. No, thank you. <laughs> so now I'm I'm actually prepared. You're going to be prepared. prepared. Yes, sir. What trail should we go uh, test this stuff on? I don't know. Let's find the dumbest one and do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's this little trail. It's called Sledgehammer. Thank you again. Thank you, sir. Justin, Factor 55. Thanks, Dude, bro. Thank you. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Oh, if it's not asking too much, can I get that box to put all this in? Or do I have yeah, to can you box it back know, up for I know us? somebody makes bags for you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, well, we could just put all this in one of your bags. I can put it in one of the DT bags, yeah. Hey, remember those backpacks? This is the owner of DDT. This is my buddy Pete. We're going to put all this recovery gear in one of his backpacks. Yes. Boom. Heck yeah. We're back in the trailer. The wind came out of nowhere. So we got Vogue guy over Dream. here. Look at <laughs> Running from the sand. <laughs> Running from the sand. Bothering Brittany. She's, a, edit. she's over here editing and she's sick. And I don't feel good. And she doesn't feel good. So we finally got out of the way and we're back in the trailer. We're going to hang out here for a minute. I got to thank Justin with Factor 55 again. That thank was you, That was extremely thoughtful. I guess Michael probably thanks you too. I thank you too. This guy. And the picture, the book with pictures in it for Kevin. <laughs> the book with pictures in it for me. And this guy. So this is Pete with DDT. He's the one that provided us with those bags that you saw in the trail recon video. He's going to give us another bag. We'll give you one to be able to fit that perfectly with all the pouches. Right. So all that recovery gear now will go in one backpack. It'll be in the asthma 
a three-day bag, we will have everything in one spot. It'll have its own little spot in the Jeep. So that's great. We'll be prepared now like adults. We'll be adults. Justin, you rock. So I'm going to give Brittany this video that we just recorded because it's only going to take her maybe an hour to get out to you guys. Because and the video I'm trying to edit right now is going to take me like eight hours. Right. And it's just... Yeah. We got some really cool video for you. We're going to have to wait till next time when she's feeling better. I'm sorry, guys. I want to take a nap. <laughs> I'm not a machine. So, hey, thanks for watching, guys. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and, and share. <laughs> All right. Time. We'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. What? Blow kisses? Oh. You have to blow kisses. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Later, guys. Get her, Jilly. You probably sounds so much more energy than you. <laughs> Jilly. That's funny. Get her, Jilly. Get her.